Good morning, warriors. So it is about 9 a.m. on Monday, and I am getting ready to do my 10,000 step video. Um, I think I'm just going to knock it out in one go this morning. Yeah, I, it'll probably be just walking in place, though, because I woke up and my knee was kind of twitching, so I might not do all of, like, the other steps that he does and just like keep it to just purely walking in place um and that's okay you know i'm still up i'm still moving i'm still reaching my challenge goals and now i'm just going to grab out some water actually i should probably grab like two bottles out because i usually go through two bottles in that hour video so that's my morning I just got back from the Walmart grocery pickup and thought I would just do a very super, super quick grocery slash personal hygiene haul. Um, I only got a few things, just things that I didn't already have on hand. So super, super quick. I've got six gala apples. A loofah because my other loofah is, you know, when you've used it for a while and it gets all like stretched out and it's just like, ugh, okay. Two Biore charcoal face wash. Um, I originally got the bigger one, but they didn't have it, so they just substituted it for two. I desperately needed new hair ties because I can't find my other ones, so I got a whole bunch of those. I got about six pounds worth of Tyson um, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I usually get about six pounds for a week because I eat like 12 to 16 ounces per day because again, I'm doing OMAD. So I am eating a bigger amount in the evening or whenever I do OMAD for my one meal. Um, so that just gets me my... 80 plus grams of protein super quick and super easy um two bottles of aussie miracle volume conditioner again i had originally ordered the bigger size but they were out so they just gave me two of the smaller ones and then i believe there's like six heads of broccoli in here because i usually eat like a head a day did they not give me <gasps> I don't think, did they not give me my potatoes? Hold on, I need to run out to my trunk and see if they gave me my potatoes. So I did not get my bag of red potatoes, so I'm going to have to call about that. Um, but the last thing is just a thing of eggs because sometimes I just need a little bit like of extra calories and this is just a good way to get like a hundred until like 150 extra calories by having like one or two eggs. So, and it's all protein, well, protein plus fat. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. It's not a huge deal that I didn't get the potatoes because I have couscous and rice and things like that that I can also eat with the chicken, but definitely going to go call about that. All right, so I was going to have chicken and um, couscous tonight, not potatoes because apparently they were out of stock of red potatoes. They just didn't notify me that they were. So whatever. Um, I'll probably have to go to Safeway to get some because I've really been wanting potatoes. Um, so I was going to have chicken tonight. But Mama Warrior sent over stuffed bell peppers. And that's going to be my dinner. So I've got three stuffed bell peppers that are just stuffed with Spanish rice, cheese, and hamburger. 
chips and sour cream and this will all come out to around 16 to 1700 calories maybe a little bit more which is right in my caloric range and of course we have to have our taste test so here it goes mm. not that i'm surprised Tastes delicious, Mama Warrior. don't know if you guys can really appreciate the sunset right now but oh my gosh so gorgeous uh, look at that it's beautiful All right guys, so dinner is ready and I'm keeping it really super simple this week. Um, just some chicken thighs, a carb. I meant to go get red potatoes from Safeway today, but it was just a really long day and 
<clears throat> excuse me, um, I didn't get the chance to, so I just made couscous. That'll probably be what I make tomorrow, because let's be honest, probably won't make it to Safeway tomorrow either. But you know what, at least I'm honest with myself. Um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like, but for those of you who are newer and you're like, oh my gosh, Laura, where's the vegetables? Well, first off, I did buy broccoli to make a head of broccoli to go with my dinner every night, but I realized like literally like three or four minutes ago that I had forgotten to make the broccoli. And then I was like, by the time I heat up the water and then boil the broccoli, my rest of my food will be cold. So. I'm just going to forego the broccoli. Or what I might do is I might just eat my dinner and then make my broccoli after. And what I do, it's super simple. I just boil some water that has some salt in there and then um, I boil the broccoli, usually three to three and a half minutes so that it's cooked, but it still has a little bit of crunch. So that's how I eat it. So what I might do, like I said, is just eat my dinner and then boil some broccoli and just like have that as like the last thing before I start my fast. All right, so I have 600 calories worth of chicken thighs, and that includes the olive oil that I put on them. 450 calories worth of couscous, an apple, and about 150 calories worth of a yogurt ranch dipping sauce, or I guess it's just really a yogurt ranch dressing. And then for whatever reason, I have been craving sunflower seeds. So there's about 600 calories worth of sunflower seeds, which makes this entire meal right around 1800 calories, which is right in my caloric range of 16 to 1900. And now for a super quick taste test of these chicken thighs, because this is the first time that I have cooked boneless, skinless chicken thighs in my air fryer. Um, so I'm not sure how they're going to turn out because again, they don't have the bone in to make them juicy. They don't have the uh, skin on to make them crispy. So let's see. Oh, I guess I should have tasted it without the ranch, but whatever. Mm. It's really good. Nice and moist. It's got a little bit of crunch around the edges. So mm, I like them. Good morning, warriors. Um, it's Wednesday and I did not work out this morning. It's actually about 10.30. Um, I'm just taking a break from work, but I woke up and it's that time of the month. And while my flow isn't as bad as it was last month where I was literally bedridden for like six days, um, it's pretty heavy, so. <laughs> I'll probably this evening, I might try and at least do a couple thousand steps. We'll see. I don't know. It just kind of depends on how bad it is. Um, ugh, I hate it. <laughs> hate it, hate it, hate it. And I know last month I gained four pounds that week. So I'm kind of worried about what my weigh-in this week's going to look like. Eey. I hate being a woman sometimes. All right, y'all, so it is about 5.30 and I am fading like super, super fast. Um, the last hour or two of my training, I was like literally doing everything I could to keep my eyes open. Obviously, I know it's because it's that time of the month and I have a super, super heavy flow. So I'm just, I'm, <laughs> my energy is gone. Um, Anyways, I still want to meet my goal of getting at least 30 minutes of exercise a day. So I'm just going to put on the walking video and do what I can, but try to get at least 30 minutes. And we're just going to call that good for tonight. You know, I'm just meeting myself where I'm at and doing what I can and that'll be good.
All right, so I did about 32, 33 minutes, um, right around 4,000 steps. And that was just like all, <laughs> all I could do. Um, I swear, I'm probably going to have to restart this 10,000 steps a day challenge again next week because I, I know for at least the first couple of days of my period, like it, it's not going to happen. My flow is too heavy. Um, and I don't want to make it worse. So probably going to have to restart that. Let me know in the comments below. Um, am I the only one like the week leading up to that time in the month and like the couple days following, I am like voracious like zombie Laura emerges and I could literally bite off my own arm. Okay. Um, cravings are horrible, etc. But for whatever reason, when I'm actually on my period, at least like the first two or three days, I'm not hungry. The idea of eating is just disgusting to me. I feel nauseous. Like right now, especially after working out, I feel super nauseous. Um, and I know part of it's probably, again, because my flow is so heavy and I don't have energy and I'm tired. And not to mention the fact that my digestive system during this time of the month is like horrid. So I got done working out and I was like, I should make myself some dinner. I should make my chicken and my couscous and my broccoli. But I'm just like, I don't, I don't feel like eating. Like I, mm -mm. <laughs> so I just got out um, one of my premier protein shakes and a Quest protein bar. And I may grab an apple out if I feel like after I've eaten these that I can handle a little bit more. I may get an apple out and I may even get like another protein shake. So at least I'm getting some protein in today. <sighs> but yeah, like I just, even the idea of drinking the shake and eating this protein bar, I'm like, mm. I usually don't eat protein bars, period. Like I'm just, I'm not a big protein bar fan. And um, the only reason I keep these ones around is because um, they're the only protein bars that I've tried so far that I actually can handle eating. Like they taste halfway decent. Um, and I just keep them up in my cupboard for like emergencies, like now <laughs> when I'm on my period. And also like if I get sick or something like that. So yeah, I don't want to eat those. I don't want to eat anything. <laughs> And I know that this will last at least like two or three days. The first two or three days of my period are the worst. Yeah. Mm. I just don't want to eat. And yes, both of these technically have added sugar, but it's stevia, so zero calorie sweeteners, so <sighs> whatever. Bottoms up. <sighs> At least that tastes better than the protein bar. Does anybody else turn into like a hoe for Doug Ray Scott when it's that time of the month? Like seriously, it's like my ovaries are searching for their life partner and I just don't have the heart to let them know that he's like 55 years old now. But I guess they have to learn to handle disappointment at some point, so. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, Tess. Better keep looking. All right, I finished my protein bar and my protein shake. I just... I was gonna try and like force myself to eat an apple or get another protein shake, but again, I just, I, why can't I not want to eat like all the time? Like I'd be 150 pounds like that. Anyways, before I end this vlog, um, I finally got to go check my mail and I had a couple cards in there. And so I wanted to um, 
read them for you guys and so I could say thank you. And this first card, look at this, isn't this so cute? What does it say on the front? Deck the Halls. Is from Alex with an I on YouTube. It says, Laura Lynn, thank you for your channel and all the motivation and laughter your videos give me. After such a challenging year, your content has never failed to bring a smile to my face. Oh, thank you, Alex. I truly appreciate every ounce of effort you put into your content. Happy holidays and happy new year. P.S. I've enclosed a tea bag for you to try when you need a cozy hug and a mug. Oh. She did. She put in a little tea bag. Ooh. What kind of does it say? David's tea. Organic. I'm not sure. I almost. There's almost like a pepperminty smell, but not quite. Maybe some chamomile? I'm not sure, but it smells good. It smells like one of those teas you want to drink at like night before bed to like knock you out. And then the second card that I got, look, it's Disney. Amanda, you know me so well. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is from Amanda Salmon. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, and it says, Laura, thank you for all you do. I'm so glad I found your channel on YouTube. I appreciate your honesty and sharing your journey. By the time you receive this, I'm sure Christmas will have passed. So I hope you had a Christmas filled with love, laughter, and happiness. Here's to a healthier and safer new year. May we continue to grow and become even fiercer than we already are. Oh, that's so sweet. Amanda and Alex, thank you so, so much for these cards. And the funny thing is, is that even though I'm opening them like three to four weeks late, um, I actually kind of like it because it kind of just brings in a little bit of that Christmas spirit and Christmas joy, you know, to my January. So thank you so, so much. I, I appreciate you guys. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do like an exercise and diet diary type vlogs um, because a lot of people were saying like they want to see more of that. They want to see more of like the day to day things that I do in order to lose the weight. Um, and it's also just a good way to keep me accountable. But for the sake of my phone storage, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do them like three to four days at a time. So like in the first vlog would be like Monday through Wednesday. And then the second vlog would be Thursday to Saturday or Thursday to Sunday, I guess, technically. But I'm usually at my family's for Sunday night. But I think it's good for you guys to see that, to see me, you know, having a regular meal with my family too. So I think that's what I'm going to do um, just to try and not overload my phone storage. Yeah, that's going to be my plan. So if there's anything else that you would like to see in these vlogs other than just like what I'm eating and what I'm doing for exercising, let me know and I will try and incorporate that. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by subscribing and giving it a big thumbs up and make sure to tap on that notification bell so you can join me next time. Bye everyone.